The badminton scene in Africa has been traditionally dominated by South Africa, Nigeria and Mauritius. Though in recent years, a few other nations from the continent have emerged as strong contenders. That was best demonstrated at the recently concluded All-Africa Badminton Championships. Egypt won team gold for the first time, while Algeria took home the men's doubles gold and bronze, as well as clinching top spot in the men's singles. One player was responsible for two of those medals. Meet Adel Hamid. The Algerian stunned second seed Ahmed Salah of Egypt to clinch his first career title. You know, since I was a kid, it was like uh, a dream. That is a lot of sacrifice that people doesn't see. And uh, that is a dream uh, become true, really. You know, uh, badminton is uh, it's like, it's really my passion. So I made a lot of sacrifices, a lot of, really. So I'm very happy. Adele has plenty of reasons to be happy. Not only did the 24-year-old earn his maiden gold, he also ended a decade-long title drought for his nation. And who better than a fellow Algerian All-Africa champion himself to coach this ambitious youngster to victory? Nabil Lasmari, I don't know if you know him. Um, already all uh, African championship. He made the uh, Olympics in Pekin. And uh, that is, he's my coach in France. I live in France but I have double nationality, that's why I can play with Algeria. As badminton is a developing sport in Algeria, it lacks support from the government. While Adele's wins will definitely help raise the profile of the sport within the country, it will still be a few more years before players are able to count on funding from sponsors and the government. Until then, the Algerian will have to look to other sources of income to keep his passion alive. Uh, I'm working um, like a... Uh, Bartender, a bartender and uh, in a restaurant. So I try to work and train every day. That is very, very difficult, but uh, I need to get money. That's why, uh, that's why I have to work. Sometimes, you know, I, I cannot go to the training. I prefer to, to, get, to stay with my, with my wife. While a full-time job may take its toll, the shuttler has plenty of determination and grit and only one goal. To qualify to Olympics, to qualify like every player, I mean, yeah. Maybe keep training and uh, maybe more and more and more and more. And maybe uh, try to, to eat well, drink water, you know, stop coca. And uh, yeah, no, keep uh, so far, he is on track. With three men's doubles silvers and two men's doubles bronzes under his belt with partner Mohammed Abdurrahim Balabi, his performances are proof that Adele's badminton career is on an upward trajectory. And representing his country in both categories is a formula that seems to be working well for this rising talent. Yeah, but uh, it's usual for me to play single and double. I try them. It's usual now to play the both. If I can focus on the both, I will, I will keep him. He's more fast in double, so that's why he could help me in single. Of course, none of this would have been possible if Adele hadn't chosen to pick up a badminton racket as a teenager. I meet the, the right people at the right moment. I think that is, uh, that is what I, I'm now at my, my level. Eight years on, badminton has become his passion. The world number 287's dream is the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. And although the route up might be a long one, Adele Hamek has the right attitude that might just get him to Japan.